Okay, so parts laid out here for stage 60 of issue 17. Yeah, um, some quite nice detailed um, parts uh, for this one. Um, looks like some control panels. Um, some very small parts as well on sprues that we're going to have to be taking off. Obviously, so I'm going to have to be careful with them ones. Make sure they're going okay. But yeah, and loads of screws as well. But yes, um, so this looks like it's going to be quite an interesting one. And we're going to get into it. So let's get into the build for uh, stage 60. Okay, so first thing we're doing is bringing over this part because we're building the peripheral unit, it's calling it. Um, okay, so this part here is going to be pushed into this part here. Um, so it looks like the smooth parts at the top and this can only really go in one way. So just pushing that into there, just just push fit. Okay, so that's what that kind of looks like. And then taking a small part here and pushing that in into here. Definitely doesn't want to go flush on my one. And I don't want to break it. And quite a lot of force on that to try and get that flush. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good now. Flow quite flush. Okay. That's what that looks like. Full unit. Okay, then we're bringing over the lid from the last issue, from stage 59. Um, and I'm just trying to work out which way around that goes. I think it can only go one way because it's got a, a pin, a locating pin. Put that in and then attaching that with two AP screws. Okay, then we're bringing over the box from the last one, last issue, and yeah, with the multiple holes in that way. So the multiple holes, I don't know if you can get it the right way, wrong way around. You can. I'll just match it to the picture where you've got the multiple holes and that obviously facing the multiple holes. And IP screws, four IP screws. Okay, so that's now fitted in with IP screws. Just like that. Okay, now bringing over fascia and also the other box from the last issue so yeah bringing this over and I'm gonna identify the locating pin it's gonna go in there and then it is just a case of lining it up and three GP screws I'm gonna put the top one in first and then kind of go for the bottom one. I'm going to put them in fairly loose, I think. Not probably particularly tough. I'm glad they've gone for silver screws on this. Because that was a bit of a bugbear of mine. Those big, ugly black screws that they gave us for the other ones. So I'm quite glad they've gone for silver on these ones. Okay, so that's a little bit loose. And then this one in. It can only kind of go one way, really. It hasn't got a locating pin, but it can only really go one way. Kind of looks like. Okay, now we've got these metal supporting brackets. Okay, I'm going to be fitting those in KP, 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 KP screws. To the side that's why I've left it fairly not loose but you know it can move around a bit so 
because these KP screws are going to go in uh, on the sides. Just trying to make sure. All right, around. Yep. Yeah, okay. And once again, I'm going to be leaving these loose, and then I'll go around and tighten them all up at the end. Tighten everything up. Okay, that's uh, that fitted on. Those uh, supporting metal supporting brackets, and obviously the front ones in. We now have these sprue parts and um, it says that uh, these are the A and B ones, the one that's on the six and some of them, the A ones are the longer part and the B have a shorter top part so very difficult to see I guess but these are the longer ones or these are the shorter ones. They're not marked A and B which would be really handy wouldn't it? They're marked say with one two three four so they've all got one two three four written on it would be handy if they had a and b wouldn't it or whatever but uh, it hasn't it just you just got to identify them kind of in the picture so you've got longer ones and you've got short ones and then you've got these ones here as well which are the switches they're uh, pretty much the same i'm going to take off the longer ones first sprue cuts again take off the longer ones to start with and be very careful where i'm cutting these cause it's quite Difficult to see, but there is a definitive place to cut these. Make sure they don't ping off anywhere as well. Okay, so those are the ones with the longer top part. And these apparently are going in the top. So that's the longer top parts done. We're going to do the shorter ones. Which are going to go in the bottom. Okay, and the shorter ones. You got the long pins and the short pins. Short pins go to the bottom one. Okay. Now it's just taking off these switches. I'm gonna do three at a time. I don't think there's any difference in the switches. It's just to make sure you get these the right way around, and it looks like the switch is going downwards. Switches are now in as well. So it looks quite good, I think. Okay, so I've written over this part, I can't remember which issue this was for, or stage this was from. With 58 maybe um, and we're attaching this part that we just built onto this it has got a secure a locating pin which goes the right way around but just kind of match it up to the picture once it's done then you are attaching it with KP screws two KP screws four KP screws sorry Okay, so that's now connected to that base part from the uh, other issue or the stage. And then bringing over the cargo bed and attaching this behind this jump seat. And attaching that with three AP screws. I don't seem to have enough AP screws. Let's get some from the last 
issue. Three P times seven. Three. No, okay. I think I put that together slightly wrong. An IP, not AP. Okay, so I need to take these ones out. Not gonna make any difference now, but take these ones out because these ones were meant to be IP screws, not AP screws. Put AP screws into here. Looks better as well because they're silver, so. Okay. So the AP, uh, AP screws go in here. Yeah. That's what that looks like. And fit it to this cargo area. Okay, so it's stage 60 done there, that UHF box, power transmitter box, um, power distribution box. Um, yeah, constructed and fitted to the cargo area. What we've got coming in 61. The rear left interior panels and speakers, so not a great deal to do. Just gonna be uh, kind of almost completing or semi-completing the cargo area. Yep, so that's uh, that's stage 61. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that. But hey, thank you very much for watching this instalment of Build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 by Hero Collector and Eagle Moss. And if you'd like to see the progression of this car all the way through from where it is now to a uh, completed model, then you can always consider subscribing. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can always give us a thumbs up, pop any comments down in the comments box and I'll get back to them. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and ta for now.